Saint Cyril Lucaris. Saint Cyril was born in the Kingdom of Candia in 1572, and from the young age he was predestined for greatness. In his youth he traveled through Europe, studying at Venice, Padua, and Geneva. At one point Saint Cyril was ordained in Constantinople. In 1596 he was sent to the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth to lead the Orthodox opposition to the Union of Brest-Listovsk, which proposed the union of Kiev with Rome. He led the effort with irresistible grace. In 1601, Lucaris was unconditionally elected as the Patriarch of Alexandria at the age of 29. He would continue to hold his office for 20 years, until his elevation to the See of Constantinople. During his tenure, he sought to instill greater appreciation of the Holy Scriptures among his flock, even sponsoring the first translation of the New Testament into modern-day Greek. Due to the total depravity of Turkish opposition, combined with the missionary work by Jesuits among the Orthodox faithful, there was a shortage of schools which taught the Orthodox faith and the Greek language. Roman Catholic schools were set up, and Catholic churches were built next to Orthodox ones. And since Orthodox priests were in short supply, something had to be done. Since Cyril's first act, justified by his faith alone, was to establish a theological seminary at Mount Athos. The Patriarch's efforts were truly sufficient for all, yet efficacious only for the elect. In 1627, he authorized the establishment of a Greek language printing press in Istanbul, the first of its kind. However, the French government lodged an official protest with the Ottoman authorities once the press began to publish anti-Catholic polemics, and as a result, Ottoman authorities ordered its closure one year later. The Patriarch had a considerable correspondence, even with the Archbishops of Canterbury. However, that won him few friends, for Western diplomats often caused quite a stir with the Patriarch. When the Ottoman Sultan Murad IV was about to set out for the Persian War, the Patriarch was accused of a design to stir up the Cossacks, and to avoid trouble during his absence, the Sultan had him strangled by Janissaries on June 27 of 1638 aboard a ship in the Bosphorus. He gave up his soul to God with all the perseverance of the saints. His body was thrown into the sea, but it was recovered and buried at a distance from the capital by his friends, and only brought back to Constantinople after many years. He was so influential that he was mentioned by name by council of some importance, the Council of Jerusalem of 1672. Sadly, a ship containing the saints' manuscripts sank during a storm in some Nordic country. There was a limited atonement from his torments. For today, he remains one of the household names on Orthodox discussion forums. May his prayers follow us unto the end of this age. Amen.